Some people find sharks super scary, but guess what? I love them. So dive in with me as we learn a little bit about sharks and other ocean vocabulary. Now these little guys are the banded hound shark or Japanese leopard shark. Their habitat is typically in shallow waters of about 40 meters in the northwestern Pacific Ocean. This includes near or off Japan and Taiwan. Now normally touching any marine life is a big no-no, but these sharks were one time in danger because they were frequently caught as bycatch. So this area in Tatayama Chiba is now like a conservation area for these sharkies and other fish like the grouper. They are fed every day by happy divers and no longer killed for competing with local fishermen. So let's learn a little more about our cute little friends here. Banded hound sharks are docile and friendly. You can even pet them. Their skin feels a little bit rough. They are nocturnal and generally like to be alone, but sometimes huddle together in caves. They can also swim to depths of 150 meters. They are basically like giant swimming puppies. Super cute. And nope, their bite doesn't hurt. It feels like a puppy biting while it's teething. Cute puppy. Here he looks like he wants a little hug from Kanshiota, probably because they know each other really well by now. How cute. In this frame, I'm trying to feed the sharks and stingrays while holding onto my mask. The chum gets all the marine life really excited, so I nearly had my mask knocked off the first dive. The stingrays like to be petted too, so now I can tell you they feel very smooth compared to the sharks. This funny looking guy is the Asian sheep's head wrasse. You may know him from the famous Japanese diver Hiroyuki Arakawa, nearby here in Tatayama Bay, who became good friends with a wrasse called Yoriko. This little wrasse seems to also be very affectionate. And here comes the grouper fish gulping down his lunch again. The red stingrays in Tatayama are also super affectionate. Red stingrays are native to the northwestern Pacific Ocean, typically near Japan, Korea, and China. Often caught as bycatch, they are currently assessed as near threatened. Near threatened means that a species may be considered threatened with extinction in the near future, although it does not currently qualify for the threatened status. On the other hand, among over 400 species of sharks, about 64 species are currently listed as endangered. Endangered is the second most severe conservation status for wild populations in the International Union for Conservation of Nature Schema, after critically endangered. So what does all this mean? Sharks are an apex predator which puts them at the top of the ocean food chain. When we kill sharks, we end up disrupting this food chain and it causes mid-level predators to overpopulate, thus harming the ecosystem. How can we help? We could start by stopping overfishing, bycatching, and shark fin soup. Sharks are not usually dangerous, and as you can see, they can be cute and friendly as well. If anything, they are fearful of humans and just want to be left in peace to swim. In fact, if we leave them alone, we can continue to enjoy observing them in natural environments like when we go diving. So let's review all of the vocabulary we have learned today. Shallow, marine life, bycatch, docile, nocturnal, death, chum, gulp, native, near threatened, endangered, apex predator, and ecosystem. So I'm nearing the end of my dive. 
it's time to go back up to sea level. Thank you so much for diving with me and the sharks. Also, I hope you've learned something from this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, a very special thanks to Balmy Divers for the awesome footage. Goodbye!